Stephen Mulhern and this is Tricky TV, where you will be seeing magic that will amaze you. Oh, oh my God, God, do that! Do that! Surprise you. Oh, how'd you do that? And make you laugh your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> now you will be able to make people react like that too, because I will show you how to do it. Today on Tricky TV, we surprise Jennifer Ellison with a flying car trick. <gasps> what are the chances of that? Find out why a model gorilla would make people do this in our wicked wind up. <laughs> and we attempt to make a dream come true for this class by making their teachers vanish in today's big trick. Soon, no teachers. And I'm not joking. Yes, loads of brilliant stuff coming up on today's Tricky TV. But first, have a little look at this. An ordinary pen, you can see that. I'm going to trap it in between my hands so you know it's got nowhere to go. Don't take your eye off the pen because no sooner do you see it, it vanishes as quick as that. Do you want to see that trick again? OK, keep your eye on the pen. Look, it's gone. Now, chances are you want to know how that trick works. Well, the brilliant thing about Tricky TV is I'm going to let you in on the secret. And when you know the secret, you can make other small objects vanish too. Let's have a look how it works on the crowds. <laughs> Do is keep your eye on the pen, because well, now you see it. Now you see it. <laughs> so now you see it. Oh my gosh. Everyone was amazed at Thor Park, and when I tell you how to do this trick later, you'll be able to amaze people too and become part of the secret circle. Whoa! <laughs> <Yes. laughs> the scenes here at a TV studio with a very lovely Jennifer Ellison and uh, Jennifer look you do TV work yeah presenting mm -hmm. that sort of stuff um, you also do stage yeah and now you do movies yeah is there anything that you don't do yeah so you do magic no that's handy because yeah. I do and we're gonna try a really cool trick <laughs> uh, have a look at these cards you can see they're all different uh, it's very important if you could have a check as well yeah don't mind yeah cool. all different. right now whenever you like Jennifer you just say stop all right okay. Stuff. Okay, take the card out. Show everyone it's the two of hearts, but don't show me. Mm. Was it the two? That's so weird, isn't it? Okay, say stop. Stop. Okay, pop it back. All right, we'll get you to pick a different card this time. All right, one of fifty-two. Anytime you want, say stop. Stop. Okay, take the card out and show everyone. <gasps> what are the chances? Oh, it's <laughs> no, no. the two of hearts. <laughs> there is only one of them, but to make sure that everyone knows, it's definitely only one in the pack. Sign it. Do you mind? Sign. Do you want to pick a different card? No. Okay, yeah, with that. Okay, sign, sign it. Yeah, yeah. So now Jennifer's putting an autograph on the two of hearts. So we can't have two of them. There you right. go. There you go. You can definitely see that. Yeah. Okay, now let's just recap. Jennifer, say stop. Stop. Pop the card back in for the final time in the middle of the pack. All right, definitely inside the middle. Yeah. And to make sure none of the cards can get out, Jennifer, I'm going to take my elastic band. Okay, have a look. Make mm -hmm. sure it's a real one. Okay, you can show yeah. everyone. Cool. And now I take the elastic band and I put it around the pack. Have a close look here. Close look, because you need to see that the, all the cards are definitely trapped. Now, Keith, on camera, if you don't mind coming down here, because I want everyone at home to sit up there. And Jennifer, you have Hi. a look as well. All right? Yeah. Keep your eye up here. Here we go. In three, two, one. <gasps> one card, oh. one card alone. Oh. Have we seen it yet? Everybody at home. Oh my Two God. Part, signed as well. And that's tricky. That's
people that come along here to the Paradise Wildlife Park in Broxbourne get to see loads of different animals. <laughs> well, today, and today only, they're going to get to meet this guy, Yambo, a life-size, completely lifelike model of the real thing, and it looks incredible. Would you like to see it? Of course you would. So come with me. He looks incredible, doesn't he? Now today, people are gonna get to touch his hair, they'll get to have a photo taken with him, they'll do everything they couldn't do with the real thing. But what would you do if you were cuddling up to this model of Yambo and he suddenly moved? <laughs> you see, this is a state-of-the-art, remote-controlled, animatronic version of the real thing. Now it took years to develop, it took thousands of dollars to make, and has been used in scores of commercials and movies. But what people don't realise is that inside this soup, hang on a second, let's just open this up, is Peter Elliot. How are you, Pete? A little hot, but I think I'll survive. <laughs> now, Peter's been working this incredible suit for 17 years, but to help this wind up even further, I need my disguise. After several hours at the mercy of Tricky TV's makeup artist, I emerge as Barry Blake, zoo education officer and gorilla expert. Hey Barry, are you ready? Raring to go, Stephen. Hello, in you come. This is our life-size model. It is only a model, I know it looks very realistic. It's impressive, isn't it? Yes, certainly. And if you, if you, if you, well, you can feel yourself. Um, feel free, you know, you can, do, you can touch it. Oh, you can touch it. Go on. You can feel it. Isn't he? <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo that you can keep so you can show your friends. Here we go. If you move in a bit closer. Now keep an eye on this boy's face. One. <laughs> How scared was he? Let's see it again. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting close up. Now that's funny. That is scary. In three, two, one. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, come in. Come in, and I'll show you the display of our grinning here. We press that one now. <laughs> It's only a one. It can't. It can't in You don't scare me. <laughs> and you didn't think he could scare you? Yeah, right. What's your name? Uh, Alex. Alex, we only do one of these per showing, Alex. We do a photo for one person uh, with, with uh, Yambo. Uh, would you like that? I'll put the remote control down so he can't move. OK. Cool. Yeah, you'd like a photo? I promise you now, if you stand there, you will be fine. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> Trek it. Big illusions always make people say, how did you do that? Well, here's a prime example of such an illusion. Watch it closely, look. You can see there's nothing under the table, nothing at all. And there's nothing above the table either. I've also got this rug here, and the rug is really clean, so clean it yourself. There's no way you could hide anything inside this rug. Now, I'm gonna place the rug just there for a second. Also wanna show you this box. It's a flat pack box, which proves that you can't hide anything inside it. Now, the box will stay just here. Again, still nothing in the box, okay. Now, let me take the rug, like this, and I'm gonna place the rug over the box. Now, 
push it down a tiny bit. And I say three, two, one, and the rug will go. And this will be Miss Willoughby. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, ballet class? Ballet class, of course. Now, if you want to know where Holly appeared from, all you've got to do is keep watching and I will let you in on the secret. Also on its way, I tell you how to do the vanishing pen trick in the secret circle. In the big trick, we try and make their teachers disappear and we lift the lid on a classic con trick in today's Beat the Cheat. Trick Welcome back to Tricky TV. Now, just before the break, I said I'd show you how Holly appeared from an empty box, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But to see the secret, you need to take a look from behind. That's it. Off you go. Did any of you guess? Well, Holly was hiding behind the box right from the beginning. Always make people say She's got to crawl on her hands and knees, keeping up with me as I move the box to the table. You can see there's nothing under the table. Nothing at all. Hi, Holly. And there's nothing above the table. Also got this rug here, and the rug is really clean because so I clean it myself. At this point, Holly's timing has to be perfect, because as I move the box, Holly must move under the table now hidden by the rug. Watch how she does it. Just to prove that you can't hide perfect anything inside it. Now, the box will stay just here. Here is the final bit, and this is where timing is crucial. As I move the rug, Holly has to get into her next position behind the box. Now the rug over the box. She then carefully cuts out a hole in the back and crawls inside whilst I'm distracting you with the rug. I'm also going to tuck a tiny bit of this inside here like that. And I say three, two, one. Holly then grabs the rug and pulls it inside the box. Here, Miss Willoughby. And the audience goes wild. Tricky. We have selected some of the best young magicians in the UK. Their skills are many and varied. Their method is practiced until perfect. They all share the same ambition, to be top tricksters. Here is Fast Fingered Sam, master of close-up magic. Keep your eye on the coin. They say a magician should never repeat a trick, but with Sam, you can, even in slow motion. Brilliant. There will always be people who will try and con you, and there'll always be people who fall for their tricks. But if you can work out some of the scams the con men use, then you will be able to beat the cheat. All you need to do is keep your eye on the three boxes. One, two and three. Now, two of them are completely empty, but this one has got some mints in, OK? Now, look, we're going to mix the boxes round, and all you need to do is remember where the mints are. Which one has the mints in? This one? No. It's this one over here. Yes. We'll show you again. Look. Remember, this one's got the mints in, these two don't. Look, we mix it around. And again, where are the mints? Um, there. This one, no, it's this one again. Yes, yes, we could do it again, watch. That's got the mints in. This one hasn't, this one hasn't, this one hasn't, this one has, this one hasn't, and nor has this one. You know it's this one. So which one's got the mints in? Or oh, you think this one? <laughs> Have a shake. No, I told you it was this one. OK. I'm not even going to mix them up this time. Which one has got the mints in? I'll give you a clue. Pick it up, give it a shake. No! I'll do it again. Look, keep your eye on the mints. These people here think they've got a one in three chance of finding the mints. In fact, they've got no chance at all. Nobody will ever be able to find the mints because there are no mints in any of the three boxes. So how does the command make it sound as though there are mints? Well, let me show you this. This is very weird. When he shakes one of the boxes with his right hand, you can't hear anything at all. But when he shakes the box with his left hand, 
sounds as though the mints are inside. So where does the sound come from? Well, it's not gonna come from our sound man, oh no. Look, we have an extra box up the left sleeve. That is what makes the noise. So when you see the command doing this trick, you'll notice that he doesn't ever really move his left hand at all. And you'll always be able to spot a stupid con man when he sees one of his mates passing by and he goes, all right, tell. <laughs> but now you know the secret. You really can beat the cheat. Correct. On, I showed you one of my favourite tricks, the disappearing pen. <laughs> so all you've got to do is keep your eye on the pen, because now you see it... Now you... <laughs> <laughs> so now you see it... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you can do this trick too and get great reactions just like I did. You show a pen, it's a real pen, your friends will see it, and then when you say go, the pen will completely disappear. It is such a good trick and amazes everyone, even amazes me, and I know the secret. But for you to do one of the most amazing tricks in the whole world, all you need is a piece of elastic and a safety pin. Honestly, I'm gonna show you, look. Here's how you set it up. You get your elastic and you tie it to the lid of a pen. Okay, you push the elastic through the hole in the lid of the pen, tie a knot, and then the lid is secure. Now the other end of the elastic is attached with the safety pin to the top of your sleeve. You push the pen down your sleeve like this and then pull it out this end and hold on to it. And when you let go, the elastic will pull it up your sleeve and it will look as though it's disappeared. Now you know the secret to the trick, let me give you some tricky tips. First of all, this is really important. You must make sure the length of the elastic is right because if it's not, if it's too long, I'll show you with this one, what will happen is you'll show the pen and when you let go of it, it won't go up the sleeve, it'll just hang there like that and you'll look a bit silly. It's not a good look. Your friends will just laugh. Another thought is this. If you glue the lid to the pen, it will stay in place, but if you don't glue it, sometimes the lid vanishes, but the pen stays in your hand and it's not a good trick. Now, if you're right-handed, make sure the elastic is up your right sleeve and hold the pen in this direction because if you show it in this direction, your friends will see the elastic, okay? If you're left-handed, of course, you just place it on your left sleeve. This is neat. To hide the elastic here, just place the other hand over the elastic. That way, you can show the pen both ways. Then you let go and it vanishes. It is such a neat trick. I really like this one. And now you know how it's done. You can use the technique to vanish other small objects like keys. Or handkerchiefs. I've told you the secret. So now you are in the secret circle. So go and trick your friends. This lot look pretty pleased with themselves because I've told them that today I'm going to use my magic and make their school a totally teacher-free zone because they're going to help me out to try and make their teachers completely disappear. Are you ready for this? Good. Okay, come over this side. Look, here they are. Follow me. Your time has come. Okay, teachers, this way, please. All in single file, nice and quietly now. I've always wanted to say that to teachers. That's it, in you go. There we are. Okay, no lagging behind, please. I'm like a teacher now. That's it. If you stand in the centre, brilliant. Okay, all in there, lovely. And if you could all jump up and down for me, this is to prove it's solid, there's no trapdoors. Also makes the teachers look quite silly, which is always a good thing, I think. Now, these panels just here, you can see there's no strings, no mirrors, no beam up machines, and hopefully, if the magic works, soon, no teachers. Okay, now I need the guys who have asked me to do this trick for them. Okay, they haven't moved this fast in weeks. They really want it to work. 
Okay, now if you'd like to lift up the back panel for me and the front panel as well, that's brilliant, just to make sure they are trapped inside. Also important to bring up the sides, so there's definitely no way they can get out. And the other side as well, this is going very good. Okay, now I'm gonna go all the way around the box so that you can see there truly is no way they can get out. I'm gonna count down from three. And when we get down to one, hopefully we're gonna find out whether or not our disappearing cube has worked. Here we go. Three, two, one, drop it. They're gone. <laughs> How good is that? Oh yes, now they're very, are you happy? Yeah. Of course you are, there's no more teachers. And if you've got any problems with nuisance teachers, make sure you let me know. Chicken. Next time on Tricky TV, we take on the army when we try and make one of their tanks disappear. Will this boy survive when he gets totally mangled in front of his class in our big trick? And we go undercover with the Tricky TV hidden cameras to create the cookery class from hell. Tricky. That's all coming up next time. Looks like being a great show. Oh, by the way, don't take your eye off this box. And in the meantime, let me tell you, things don't always go according to plan in the world of TV. And here are some great bits that definitely didn't. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. And also we've got a cloth here. Nothing inside the cloth or anything like that. Hi. We've got a holly. No. Got nothing. Oh my. Hi. Right, so you can hide anything in there. We've got this box that keeps blowing over. Where did you come from? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I don't know, working with humans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>